The main thing we're going to be fighting with at this moment is the sh round shield, the Anglo-Saxon round shield and spear. Um, now you notice the shield design. In this period, pretty much, they would put things on their shields that would bring them good luck. And you've got, certainly on Appleford's shield, you've got the, uh, the boar, or the ferocious animal, very much like the wolf. And by having that on his shield, he thinks that it's going to give him some sort of protection. He's going to take the spirit and the, the ferocity of the boar. He's also got Christian cross, because at this period, there was Christianity was becoming coming in from abroad. You had the Merovingian Empire, very strong, and they were all Christians. And they, had, they were well known for their warriors. So you can see someone like Appleberg can be thinking, well, if it's good for them, and they've been victorious and they've gained a lot of glory, maybe this thing about Christianity is okay. So there's a bit of both going on here. With Appleberg, he's got a classic Anglo Saxon symbol, which is the two foot, unfortunately stolen by the Nazis and made, you know, uh, a very bad symbol, unfortunately, mm. but it means good luck. <laughs> it's all about, you know, being safe, being protected. Before the Nazis took it, that's exactly what it meant. And it was just a sort of same re same thing that's being used in various other places. The stylized form found everywhere in Anglo Saxon art um, and on uh, their artifacts. My gentlemen, get position, please. Well, hang on a sec. What we'll have is. Athelbert on the right, he's got his spear in the overhand position, so it's a stabbing down position where Wolfrich is in the thrusting position. Way of fighting. They're using the whole weapon. They're not going to be stabbing the shield with it because they don't want to get trapped in the shield, which, which often happens. <coughs> Notice that both warriors have four crests, which is pretty typical of a, uh, an English warrior. You can also see they're pretty well protected. I don't know whether you know that they, I don't think they've scored any hits on each other at all at this point. Feel free, actually lads, feel free to go for legs as well. Remember they are the legitimate target. There you go. That would have disabled that warrior. Spear on spear. Anyone got any questions they want to ask? 